Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today, I'm going to be showing you my ship. I finally finished it, it has taken many hours, but I am really happy with the final result. This is now my favorite build in Scrap Mechanic, it's my biggest build, and yeah, this thing is awesome. Now, I did an update on this on Tuesday, it wasn't hovering, it didn't have all the stuff on the inside, a lot of stuff was missing, the front cell wasn't there, uh, the ladders, it was... It was pretty bare, but I finally finished it. This thing is 100% vanilla. It will be on the workshop. I'll also include a link to this map if you want to use the dock that I built. And I might build a little more around this world because this is awesome. Like, I'm really excited about this build. So, I might do a little bit more on this. Now, at the end of the episode, I'll talk a little bit about the new themes, uh, new builds. And a little bit about the town because I'm still getting a lot of questions about it and what I'm going to try to do with it. So if you want to stick around to the end of the episode, I will talk a little bit about that. But I don't want to ramble about it right now. I want to talk about the ship. Now a couple people I have to thank for helping me on this ship are Moombo and Con Gaming. Moombo helped me with the timers on the cannons on the inside. I was having some issues with the cannons hitting the uh, little doors here. And it was causing some lag. He helped me time those out, so I gotta thank him. And I've gotta thank Con Gaming. If you recall, I covered his hover ship, and he has an anti roll method that he uses to keep these things from tipping over. So you see these sensors here, and I'm gonna pull up the uh, absolutely massive spider web. But yeah, he's got these sensors that they hit the ground, and if the ship starts to tilt from left to right, the sensor will activate and it'll activate some thrusters on the inside and there's some thrusters up there. You actually see them going off uh, by the cells. Now I probably have the game turned down because this thing is really annoying when it's going. Uh, I have the ship actually weld it down right now. That way everything's active. When this thing's on a normal lift like one of these lifts that's in the game, uh, the front cells actually up into the side. You can't put them at angles like this unless they're off the lift. So that's that front part's actually on a controller. But yeah, this is the spider web, and it's a nightmare. This is definitely my most complicated spider web. Uh, it's just a lot of bearings, a whole lot of thrusters. I, I don't have a final count. I need to put this thing on a lift and count them. But it's pretty ridiculous. Now, a couple things I want to point out. Last episode, somebody pointed out that I didn't have the uh, rudder hooked up. It is hooked up now, so it turns with the, uh, with the steering up there. Uh, some people were also curious about the bottom here. Now, I brushed up a little bit on my ship terminology. This is kind of the ballast down here. The ballast is like a heavy material at the bottom of the ship to help stabilize it. And that's what I'm using this metal for. I, I think it really does help keep some of the weight down low because there's a lot of weight up high with the uh, sails made out of wood and the uh, you can see the pipe pieces that I've been using also and those are those are fairly heavy. Now, I think it's time to go ahead and climb aboard here. I'm not going to fly it around yet because I get really high frame rates when this thing's welded down. Now when it actually is loose, I do get a pretty good drop. So this thing probably isn't going to run on every computer. Uh, I don't know any other way to do this though. So this thing is just so huge and complicated. Now there's two ways into the ship. Say you want to pull up to this dock. I've got a little ladder on the dock that folds out or you can go through the bottom here. Now this bottom has a button on the side. You can make this door go up. It also has a button on the uh, cockpit area that will make this go up and down. So say you want some friends to board, you can just kind of pull up beside them and just tell them to go up to this front door. But we're actually gonna use the dock that I built. I wanna show you guys that. Now I kept calling this a galleon. I'm just gonna call this a huge ship right now because I don't know if it 100% qualifies as a galleon, and it's not a pirate ship, it's morely a merchant ship. So, it's just kind of a hybrid. It's got a lot of cannons on it, a lot of hand cannons. So, I think just the best thing to do is just call this a huge ship. Now, here's one way to get on. I've got this little, little ladder that will help you get on. I wish I was a little more uh, angled with this opening here. I have this saddle seat right here, and I'm actually, I can take that off real quick. Uh, that would be if you're floating around, say you fall off, you can have a saddle seat sitting there and you can just hop on it and as soon as you exit it, it should throw you onto the ship. Uh, I've also got a little crane here. This is just to help load up the ship. Let's go ahead and move that up real quick. That way it's not in the way when we take off. So let's climb aboard. Put that back. Now a lot has changed here on the deck. 
I added these big doors down here. A lot of times if we're loading up supplies, like you see on the crane there, you just open these up and you can load them down in the deck and then they would most likely carry them down to the bottom. That's where most cargo is held in a lot of these ships. Now, my bottom is actually full of tons of thrusters. That's what I had to house all these in. All right, we're at the bow of the ship right now. Now, yeah, I've got a couple cannons up here. I told you that this cell, actually when it's on a lift, is folded up into the side. If it wasn't like that, it would lag into the main cell here. Now, this front area actually has a name up here on deck. I can't pronounce it. I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce it. It starts with an F. I have like a little wood stove in here. A lot of people tell me, or at least what I'm looking at, that this is like a living quarters up here. Say you're on deck and working, you can come in here, I guess, take a break, get some food. Got a couple ducks down there, of course. Gotta have ducks in all of these. Got some supplies up here. The ship isn't exactly balanced as far as the weight because I have different boxes on different sides. I didn't want to make it completely perfect on every side. I wanted it to look really busy, so that's where those uh, anti-roll thrusters came in. But yeah, here's all of this. Now, I don't have any cannons aiming forward, but I do have some hand cannons up here. So you can, in theory, move these around and help protect the ship. Now, I also talked about having these ladders at angles, and unfortunately, I couldn't put them at enough of an angle to be able to like climb up it and that was kind of disappointing I was hoping I was gonna be able to swing them out enough to where you can actually walk up them but you can't so my solution is to have the saddle seat here so you can hop up and hit it and now we're on the crow's nest so I've got two crow's nests you've got one on this cell and you've got one on the middle now crow's nest sometimes are at the top I've seen them in different pictures being like towards the middle unfortunately the cell kind of blocks your view here so uh, I wanted to have the cell out. I wish there was a way to maybe fold this up, but I imagine that creating a lot of lag, so better go with the cell open look. But yeah, there's another one here in the middle, so if you wanted to climb up there, you actually have to stand on this box to get to this one. So you stand on and just hop up in the seat. Now, you're seeing those thrusters up there. Those are a part of the anti-roll system, so if you're wondering what those are doing. Now, I've also stuffed a lot of cannons up here, so it actually, it looks really cool up here. I wish I could move these around. I had to weld them down. Uh, if I had a bunch of loose items on deck, it would probably be a, even more of a nightmare when flying this thing around. But yeah, we'll go down below deck here in a second, check the cannons out. Here's the new area. I didn't have anything in here last time. I'm housing some thrusters in here to help stabilize this ship. And you can kind of see this nightmare of a Spider web. But yeah, this is like a area where the higher-ups would meet, maybe have dinner. Nice area. You've got a balcony on the back here if you want to hop out and look around. Let's see. Let's go ahead and close that. I should probably be calling this, I guess, the stern, the back of the ship. Uh, I need to use my ship terminology. Now we're going to climb up here. Here's the uh, captain's quarters. I showed this off last episode. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick peek at it. Got a bed. Got a little treasure chest full of gold. A nice area, nice and cozy for the captain. Got a nice view out the back. Now we are ready to go up, I believe up here on this next deck, I've got this little ladder. This is called, I believe the poop deck. So I was wanting to use that word, so I needed to climb up here and actually do it. So here's the poop deck. We've got a couple cannons aiming off the back. There's a couple hand cannons down there. So if, say if you needed to defend the ship down there. Uh, I think it's a pretty safe ship. There's a lot of cannons. I probably could add even more. But the thought of having a full crew on here, everybody having guns, I think we're in pretty good shape to protect it. But yeah, that's about it for up on the decks. Let's go ahead and go below deck, and then we're going to fly this thing around. So go and open this up. Now, this is an extremely busy area. This is where all those cannons were. Now, last episode, I had a couple cannons on the side. I hadn't decided how exactly they were going to go out, but... Now I think I'm fully satisfied with the way these things work. Now before we hit the button over there, I want to go ahead and climb here to the back. This is where the crew would be sleeping. I guess they would do it in shifts. I'm assuming that's the way that works. So I've got some bunk beds in here. You're seeing this wall poke out. I actually had to stuff some thrusters in there. So that's what that's for. But yeah, this is like a little crew quarters where they can go try to get some rest. As long as they're not shooting the cannons, that, that would be extremely loud. But yeah, this is just back here. Nice area. 
Now, up towards the front of the ship, a lot of times storage is in the bottom, but I'm housing a lot of thrusters down there, so I didn't stuff a whole bunch of boxes and stuff. So I've got a little storage area here in the front. You kind of have to climb down to get to this. This is towards the uh, front of the boat, so the deck's a little lower, so that's why the ceiling's down like this. So I've got some boxes there, pretty neat. Uh, here's the other door I was talking about earlier. Let's go ahead and just lift that. There we go. You can also close that from the driver's seat. Now, this is where all the cannons, the, the controllers work for them. Now, you can see it's an extremely busy area, but I'm going to go ahead and show you this from out here. Now, you can control this from up when you're driving, but you can't see it really good, so I'm going to do it down here. So let's go ahead and hit those, and boom, there they go. They all lift out. There's a little delay in one of those. I actually think it's some lag that these things create. It's not terrible, but... It was definitely more laggy before, but Moombo helped me time these out. That way they weren't scraping against these doors as much. So let's go and retract those. That is awesome. It looks even better when you're on the outside and you're standing out there and you watch the cannons just shoot out. A definitely really cool area. Really happy with the way this came out. Now I'm going to quickly go down here into the bottom of the ship. Let's go ahead and go down here. Uh, you can see the ballast. Uh, there is tons of thrusters down here. I mean, even I'm getting a little bit of freezing down here. It's kind of funny. Uh, there's uh, anti-roll thrusters here on the side. You've got, this is the steering method with the sensor. So when I turn the wheel up there, uh, it'll cover one of these sensors and it'll activate thrusters on the front and the back to try to turn this thing. Uh, these are the forward thrusters and the hover thrusters are behind it. It's the same setup here towards the front. Uh, basically the same. There's some different thrusters on each side, just depending on the weight of the ship. But yeah, really busy area down here. Let's go ahead and hop out of here. And I think we are ready to hover. Now, like I said, we are going to get a bit of an FPS drop when this thing gets off the uh, little like temporary lift I have it on. But it's going to be well worth it because this thing is amazing. So let me go down there and drop it and we'll climb back aboard. Okay, we are ready to drop this from the lift. Now, I'm getting a solid 60 plus FPS now, but it's about to change. Now, it will stabilize a little bit once it drops and settles. Now, I've got those pegs out there. Those pegs are really important. If this thing would hit the ground with just the bottom, it would jump to where it's running like at two or three frames a second. It's absolutely brutal. So that's why those pegs are there to keep that collision minimized. But yeah, you can uh, retract those pegs from the uh, driver's seat. Now, let's go ahead and climb through the way you would do it if you didn't have a dock. So, let's go ahead and walk up through here. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not running great. Uh, that's just the nature of the beast here. Now, of course, when that new engine comes, I'm hoping that it's going to make builds like this a little more smooth. Like I said, once you jump up in the driver's seat, it's actually pretty smooth. I don't know why that is in Scrap Mechanic, when you're on your feet and walking around. Same thing kind of happens in my town. When I'm walking around the town, I'm getting really low FPS, but once I get in a vehicle, it runs pretty good. So let's go ahead and jump in here, and boom. I did get a jump in FPS. Still not great, but it's a lot more manageable. Now let me go ahead, and that's the door. Control is going to be one. Two are the cannons, so you can see them pop out the side there. It looks pretty epic from down here. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, three is going to be your four. This thing is really easy to control. Now, it doesn't move very fast, and it doesn't turn fast, and it's not really meant to. This is a huge ship. But three would be your four. Now, five, I've got thrusters on with five, and that's going to lift us off the ground, and it actually should improve the FPS here. So let's go ahead and lift off the ground. There we go. Now I'm going to let it stabilize here. You'll occasionally see the thrusters on the top activating. That's because that sensor's hitting and those are the uh, anti-roll thrusters. Now I believe I'm going to leave particles on. That way you can see those work and how you see them like adjust themselves. Uh, if not, I normally would turn particles off on flying creations. Now I believe six is going to be one of these are the pegs. Maybe that's going to be five. No, five's the uh, forward. I think it may be. There it is. It's four. I had to remember my own controls here. It's not many buttons, actually. So A and D are going to turn the ship. So D, we're kind of slowly easing over. It works a little better once you're moving and it'll eventually kind of lean itself over and it'll help it turn. And then the anti-roll thrusters will counteract it and keep it from fully rolling over. So let's go ahead and go forward with the 
three key here and we are selling this is absolutely amazing and the fun thing about it is all the fact that it doesn't move too fast so you can still walk around on deck I was playing with Khan last night and he was able to walk up and down the deck pretty good wasn't too laggy he even spawned his uh hover ship out and we were able to like get pretty close to each other and sail around it it did get really terrible once we got close and actually almost made contact but uh I think if we can get a couple more ships it would it would be laggy but it'd be pretty cool uh, definitely now like I said you can see it leaning now and it, this is gonna help it turn so once I start hitting the D key here it's gonna give kind of a wide turning radius and oh you know what I believe we are at the edge of the map because I, I just watched the cell up in the front fold up let's go ahead and turn this thing around real quick okay we are back that is the problem about this flat world you never know where the invisible wall truly is you can mark it but it'd be a lot of marking to really tell exactly how far to the sides and how far up and down it is so let's just go ahead and start off this way we should have plenty of running room now so I'm gonna go ahead and hit four and retract the pegs kind of see it there and we're gonna hit three and we're gonna start going forward again now we're gonna turn to the left so you're gonna see it start to lean and as soon as it picks up speed it'll turn a lot better it gets that leaning action and you can somewhat see I don't see the anti-roll thrusters working now I might have glitched out somewhat on the thrusters I, I can see them working a little bit uh, you get so many thrusters sometimes they just stop showing up when they're working and it's really odd it's just one of those weird things with scrap mechanic right now but yeah I'm gonna do that and now I'll start to swing to the right and those anti-roll thrusters will start kicking in and it'll, it'll lean me over and we'll start turning to the right again uh, it just doesn't have a tight turning radius uh, the suspension glitch wouldn't work on here so I know that's probably gonna get suggested and I've got just an absolute ton of thrusters down there trying to turn this up uh, me and Khan would test it out we'd put some more down there start turning see if it work and if that didn't work we go throw some more and finally we basically filled the bottom up I was like yeah I don't think we're gonna get the same to turn any better than what it does now just because of its massive size but yeah you can see it leaning over it's starting to turn really good now oh I think I've got some stuff up there I don't want to run into that so we're gonna go ahead and start leaning over to the left now it's gonna stay leaned over to the right but when we're turning to the left it should correct itself with those thrusters up at the top and it'll finally shift its weight over it just takes a little bit for it to do it and once it does that we'll be able to go the other way so let's do that let's go ahead and watch it shift over it controls like a huge ship it controls about like I would picture it of course we don't have actual water and scrap mechanic which that would be amazing to be able to build something like this and actually play with it on the water so we kind of just have to do the hovering method right now but I am extremely happy with this ship this is one of my favorite builds. this is probably my favorite build besides the town but the town was like a collection of episodes this is my favorite single build now I might do some more around this when I had this thing welded down the world runs great it's just when you undo these uh, somebody suggested that I actually do that with the town and with all the vehicles like weld them down that way hopefully it, it'd give me a much higher FPS and maybe prevent some of that crashing I will go back and try that and see if it works and if it works you know maybe we can do some more building in it and if it doesn't we'll just have to wait for the engine update in September so hopefully that comes soon I'm really eager to get back into that town because I love that map but I also love what I'm doing here now if you have any suggestions for one-off builds like this go ahead and comment below if you have suggestions for a world maybe revolving around this go ahead and comment below I'm I'm open to everything right now because I'm just having an absolute blast and well this thing's got to stabilize itself real quick actually we're gonna take it off the uh, main thrusters oh no gotta keep it up don't want the bottom to hit put our pegs out first and then we'll go ahead and deactivate those thrusters so oh it didn't I don't think those pegs deployed on the other side did they one of them kind of stuck let's go ahead and lift ourselves up real quick and let it correct itself now this is where the anti-roll thrusters are going to start to kick in and try to tilt itself or upright itself uh, we might be too far down right now I'm going to take those pegs back up and let it correct itself you can see I'm activating up there by the uh, the cell so that's trying to tilt it back over and it's it's slowly doing it, it just takes a while but yeah I might do more around this I've got other builds that I'm eyeing 
Uh, you guys have been great with your suggestions. You've been great with your support on my build. So really happy about that. Uh, like I said, this is going to be on the workshop. I'll go ahead and put the map here because I'm pretty sure some of you want to play around with the dock. Uh, maybe build some more around it. And I might build some more around it because it actually looks really cool. I, I wasn't sure if like a kind of pirate theme was really possible here. But I feel like that could be something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll have some more scrap mechanic probably tomorrow. I've got some viewer creations I need to go through. I'm going to start going back into the town this weekend and seeing if the method of welding some stuff down uh, will work. So Monday's, or no, actually Tuesday's episode that is normally a build episode might be a little different. It might be back in the town. It might be me optimizing the town. It might not, it might not be the most entertaining thing if it works because it's going to take a while to try to fix that. But if that doesn't work, I'll have another build started up and we'll do that. I will probably also have a multiplayer episode and we'll just do a bunch of fun stuff. I, I've got a lot of big plans for Scrap Mechanic right now and I'm glad you guys are here to do this with me. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for builds, themed worlds, if you have any viewer creations you want to send me, I'm still looking at those. I've got some really cool ones in. I just got to get the time to make the episodes about them. So I've got those, and if you have any suggestions for multiplayer videos, uh, we might do something around these ships. I'm not 100% sure. I think that would be really cool. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.